Oh shit, there we go. It's live again. Alright, this video is a setup a little bit different than the other one was. Eh, that'll work. Alright, well, really I'm testing this to see if I can look at the comments on my other iPod while this is going. So, uh, see if I can do that. Where am I at? Okay, it's probably going to not let me join on this video. Are there people? Oh, there are people in there. Alright, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, so there it is. Oh shit, can I go into the comments? Oh, the volume's gonna... I gotta turn the volume off. Oh, it's delayed. Okay, that works. That works. Alright, now I just gotta make sure... Okay, that's cool. It's gonna. It's distracting that the video's on right here, but I can see your comments on here. And that'll work. And actually, I can comment on here now, too. Oh, you can hear me. Good. Okay. Man, there's 30 people on here already. Just the same amount as when I was in Chicago. That's crazy. Sounds good? That's good. Yeah, there's no win this time, right? <laughs> I uploaded that video to YouTube and had to cut out the... Uh, well, actually, I, it, it didn't sound too bad, actually. When, when I listened to it, I just uploaded it. Hey, Michael. Okay, so let me look at this. Oh, man, it's so weird. Why? <laughs> Nikolai says Clinton is gay. We can hear you. <laughs> good day, buddy. Where is your MAGA hat? This is it. I just got a red hat though. This is the same style. I got a blue one for work. I got a black one that I wear around and I got, I like my red one. So man, I feel like I got a backup. I want to move this forward. All right. Pause for a second. Looking good. She says, thank you. There we go. That should work better. How's that? Oh yeah. That's, that's a little better. I think as long as you guys can still hear me, where am I? Where's my pizza? Well, I'm at my apartment, and your pizza is not at my apartment. So there's two answers to your questions right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, my mom's on here. What's up, Mom? Hey, we're doing a pre-debate chat. 50 people, yes, this is awesome. I was wondering, I couldn't tell how many people were online. I was like, maybe I should wait, but it's going good. Jessica's on here, and my mom's on here. Awesome. Uh, Brendan says, looking good. Cheers from Canada. What's up, Brendan? Have I grabbed anyone's pussy today? No, I haven't, William. Good question, though. Eves is here. What's up? Eves and I had a good conversation. I, actually, we left that off. I said I would get back to you, but I don't remember. Um, you messaged me about, um, oh, whether I thought Trump was going to win still or something. There's some questions about that. We'll see. Jessica says, I like your background and good choice. Thank you. Yes, this is my plant that I got at Meyer. has been growing pretty good. Um, we named him um, Fledgling. Like, Fledgling? Yeah, it's Fledgling. Mom's out. She's <laughs> didn't like the answer to my questions there, huh? <laughs> Why does my hat not say "Make America Great Again"? My hat doesn't say "MAGA" because it's just a plain hat. I I have a lot of plain hats. I have a blue one for work. I have a black one, and this is my red one. So I just like wearing the. I like looking at people's faces when they when they see me wearing the red hat, and they just like they know they they know. Like I'm in Michigan. The only red team we got is um, the Red Wings. They're over in Detroit. Um, people don't really wear baseball hats for the Red Wings. You know, they wear their jerseys. So a red hat in Michigan is really stands out and um, people know. <laughs> That's why. What else do we got here? Good, strong plant name. Thank you. Yes. Christina says, hello. Uh, what do I think of the uproar about the pussy comments? Um, I think that they're a distraction and it was strange that they came out the same day as the WikiLeaks. I'm not sure which one dropped first. But the WikiLeaks seem a little bit more important because they pertain to our safety and Trump's rhetoric doesn't pertain to our safety as a nation. It doesn't pertain to what he'd do in office at all. So it was a distraction. Uh, what must Trump do to bury Hill Dog tonight? Um, he's got to stay on point, focus on attacking her on substance, and... Um, Stay off the defensive. Don't keep defending. Like, just brush aside. She brushes aside everything he says to her. He can do the same thing and not be on the defensive and not look like he's on the defensive. What else we got here? Um, what's F-H-R-I-T-P guy just endorsed Trump? Who's that? I, I don't know that acronym. Um, WikiLeaks dropped first, then came the tape. Yeah, exactly. And here's the other thing. There's probably going to be more tapes because people are... Um, getting money for these tapes, aren't they? They're probably getting paid to release stuff because they have it. Like um, the Apprentice producers, people are saying the Apprentice producers have shit on Trump. Well, they're gonna wait until the last minute until the top dollar person gives it to them, and then they're gonna drop it. What else we got here? 
Why is the MAGA hat blank? Everybody keeps asking that. There's 60 people in here now. I, thought, I feel like I've answered that three times already, but um, I just like wearing a red hat. It's, it's fun to walk around and see people react to it, and they still know. Um, they were probably sitting on the tapes. Yeah, a lot of people are probably sitting on a lot of stuff. Is what I said is they're waiting to, for the right moment where people are going to pay them. It's like, hey, you got to give us to this. We're going to give you money. Got so much shit on Hillary, though. I think Trump needs to debate how Pence did. Uh, keep it simple. Don't interrupt and attack Hillary on her multiple scandals. Yeah, I'm going to, a little admission here. I didn't watch the VP debate. I fell asleep. I uh, intentionally fell asleep, intentionally didn't watch it. Um, I'm glad I didn't because Kane was interrupting a million times just as much as Trump was, and I'm sure that'd be annoying for me. So just like it was annoying for Hillary fans to watch Trump interrupt. So what else we got? Uh, I love how everyone can't understand it's a regular hat. Right? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? How will Trump stop the ambush that's about to happen by the fake media? Man, how, look, okay, look. Trump has amazing support from amazing people all across the country, and he's had it since the beginning. The media have been out to get him ever since the beginning, comparing him to Hitler ever since the beginning, and it hasn't stopped these people from voting for him. So anything that's coming out now... It's just fuel to the fire for the people that do support him. It's it's not, I mean, you can look at the polls, sure, Nate Silver says Hillary's got an 80% chance now, but that's based on the polls' um, stability. That's not based on where the polls are at. Like Florida, for instance, Florida is at a dead heat, but he has her at, what, 80% or something, right? It's at a dead heat. Trump, oops, Trump could still win. He's still going to win, actually. Here, hold on, let me take some more questions. I'm going to get back to Florida because i got some good points to make about Florida. Does being vegan give you more MAGA stamina? I don't know, not really. <laughs> it keeps my mind clear, I think, uh, having a lot of fruit and um, I don't know, keeping watching how much uh, fatty, salty, sugary stuff I eat and I don't know. I don't know if stamina is the right word. Is Bill Clinton a rapist? Man, I don't know. I was a, I was a lifelong Democrat, voted for Obama, voted for Bernie. I never really heard anything about him being a rapist. I don't, I don't know about all this stuff. Like, if they want to throw that out there and, and prop up these people that are claiming that... I mean, that's what Hillary said, right? People have the right to be believed. Rapists have the right to be believed. Okay, well then, that's why we're letting these people say what they have to say about Bill Clinton. Um... Do you think Republicans are sending support was planned occlusion? Yeah, since the beginning. That's why I keep saying when Trump, when Trump wins, the RNC loses. All these people that are saying, yeah, no, 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 they're going to be crawling back to him when he wins, right? And when um, Hillary wins, the RNC wins. All these establishment Republicans win when, when Hillary wins. That's another reason not to vote for her because they both lose. The DNC and the RNC lose when Trump wins. Uh, we're too young to call ourselves lifelong anything. I mean, I don't know. I, I was I was pro Gore. I was pro Kerry. I was pro Obama twice. I was pro Ron Paul. I was pro Bernie. So I mean, lifelong. That's like how many election cycles is that? I'm 28. You, you might be too young. I don't know how old you think I am. I'm 28. So that's that's a third of our life. I mean, 90 years old is is um our life expectancy still. Maybe not for me, but um or us. I mean, the millennials. But um. That's a third of my life, so lifelong, you don't have to be 90 to say you're lifelong at something. Um, do I find the pussy tapes funny? You know what, I didn't actually listen to them because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> How do I feel either of the presidents will handle foreign affairs? Um, I've been talking about this a lot lately, but um, it seems that Hillary gets a lot of campaign contributions from um, military, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Contractors. Military contractors all uh, support Hillary. It was something like five to one that contributions go to Hillary. So the people that would make money off of wars, the war profiteers, are donating to Hillary. Why are they doing that? If she's not going to bring bringing us into wars, if she's not going to be needing the military, why are they voting for her? Or why are they endorsing her and giving her money? Um, and then, well, that, that, that answers your question, I think, fully right there. <clears throat> what do we got? I thought you were younger. That vegan diet must be really working for you. Thanks. What else we got? This is nice. I like having this to be able to read your comments so I don't have to be right next to the video. That's pretty cool. I'm glad, hope, hopefully the sound sounds good. You guys said the sound sounded good, right? Uh, Lauren says, Matt, I guess so. I'm a year younger than you and I was pro-Bush both times. 
McCain and I like Romney, but I voted Ron Paul. So there we go, so Ron Paul, so I get it. I was thinking about the number of times we could actually vote, which is three times so far and this and so forth. Yeah, exactly, I couldn't vote for Kerry and I couldn't vote for um, Gore. Um, and I was way too young for when Bill Clinton and stuff, but let's see, uh, 50 people still on here, that's pretty cool. Um, what do you think of the rumor that Hillary is going to attempt war with Russia? Rumor? You can just listen to her talk, listen to what she says. She's leaning towards not being friends with Russia. Why would we, as a nation, as a people, want to lean towards not being friend with Russia, whether they're um, militaristic or not, whether they're enemies or not? Like, wouldn't we want to lean towards being friends with every country? Um, uh, people say, well, Trump is unstable or whatever. He's already made a good choice in trying to be friends with Russia, so I think, I think we're doing good. Denise says, I'm 22 and I say lifelong Democrat, but now Republican thanks to Trump. Yeah. Uh, they give her money because she will let them charge $200 for a $30 toilet seat. Exactly. It's stupid. We need to be talking about Russia. All right, what else is there to talk about Russia? I Honestly, I don't really know what else there is to talk about. I know they were um, forcing themselves into Ukraine a little bit too much, and that's kind of uh, scary with what they're, what they're doing to the people over there. Um, but they're also helping... Uh, in the Middle East, uh, helping. I mean, we're helping. They're helping. We're kind of at odds with each other. I don't know. What 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 specifically else do you want to say about Russia? What are our thoughts on realistically building the wall? Realistically, building walls are easy. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Uh, I think it's it's fine. I live in Michigan, so it doesn't affect me. But um, if people are saying that we need it. And, and this is border security and, and residents down there saying we need it, then then yeah, and it was really enlightening to me, as somebody who doesn't care about this, doesn't pay attention to it, to hear when Donald Trump went to Mexico to talk about it, that it actually benefits Mexico to have the wall because we're not having illegal guns come across the border to Mexico. We're not having all our illegal money um, for drug money going across the border to Mexico. I mean, sure, they can still bring it in cars and shit, but then you're going through security, right? So we're helping stop drug trade in two both ways like the wall goes both ways and it helps um illegal activity both ways what else we got have i seen putin's claim that the u.s missile defense system is part of a two-step system to be able to throw nukes at russia without them retaliating i didn't know that it seems smart on our part we got military all over the world um i haven't seen that I don't get how we can be allies with Saudi Arabia, but not Russia. Exactly. Fucking exactly. I mean, I know why we, but we claim it's because of Russia treats people, but Saudi Arabia is the same or worst. Exactly. Fucking exactly. What about a wall on the Canadian border? Well, I drive a semi truck up north for work and, uh, the border up there seems to be pretty, pretty fine. Like there's just a bunch of people in a small town up there hanging out. Um, this is in Michigan, of course, but I don't know. I don't know. I think Michigan has bigger problems with Dearborn and with um, Syrian refugees coming over. We've got the most Syrian refugees of any place in America coming to right next to Detroit. And guess where they just foiled a terrorist attack in Detroit? This year, in August, it didn't make news. It was in the local news because this guy had grenade launchers and ISIS propaganda and the FBI had been following from him for a year and they stopped him and it didn't make the news. It could have been another Orlando or worse. And why was that not in the news? Probably because they the left media wants to talk about fucking pussies instead. Let's move on. We are the best of allies. Who's the best of allies? I missed that. I'm talking about Russia? Refugees in question marks. Yeah, I think it's because we are worried if we are not friends with Saudi Arabia then the Russians will be not a good argument Yeah uh, Jamie Marshall's here. What's up, Jamie? Canadians are great. Yeah, it's true except <laughs> it was so funny I had this guy honk at me up north and I told somebody at one of the stores I deliver to and they go Yeah, it's probably Canadian. <laughs> they were like super I don't want to use the word racist, but super bigoted against Canadians like yeah These fucking Canadians can't drive up here <laughs> It was really funny. They do drive slow. Whenever I see a Canadian license plate and I'm driving, they go really slow. For no, they're just they. I, they're not busy. I, we go fast. Americans go really fast. What else we got? Walter says he would rather be talking about fucking pussies. Some of us would. Some of us wouldn't. I'm surprised nobody's asked me what's on my shirt yet. I was like, should I wear this? I don't know. People are gonna ask me. Um, this is uh, Yellow Wolf, the rapper Yellow Wolf. Um, his Slumerican tour, Slum and American, Slumerican, that's what the stars are. They stand for each letter in the word Slumerican. So that's what that is. 
beat you to it before anybody asked. Nobody cares, I guess. <laughs> I always do. Like when Dave Rubin was on uh, doing a live broadcast on Facebook, he had something on his shirt, and I was like, what the fuck is on his shirt? So I typed typed it out and one of his one of his supporters or whatever or one of his like crew that's you know help him out with the live video asked him for me that was pretty cool i remember what it was we are very defensive drivers canadians are defensive drivers okay i am too i have to be semi truck driver jamie marshall says hey what's up hello <laughs> hey, jamie yeah for sure for sure <laughs> for sure dude <laughs> No, I told Jamie, that's what I learned about myself in the last uh, Facebook Live video is that uh, I say for sure a lot, and I'm trying not to say it as much. Um, I'm not sure why I said it so much, but it was, it was hard to watch. What else we got here? I'm saying what else we got here a lot, too, so maybe I'll stop saying that. What time is it, by the way? 6.14, okay. 7.30 is when I got to go. The debate starts at 9, but there's a showing at the um, movie theater right next to here, so I'm going to go at 7.30. Um, and then they're gonna have like a uh, signing up people to vote. Somebody just posted a huge comment. What is this? Oh, Scott Taylor's here. What's up, Scott? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Now people aren't gonna stop asking about your shirt. <laughs> so, Dave Rubin's a champ. That's true. Uh, real funny seeing Milo make him ashamed for being a lefty. Yeah, that is funny. Those two have a really good dynamic. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I just read your comment. <laughs> Okay, here's the big comment I saw. Joshua Martinez says, I still think Trump should stop letting the refugees in until we have a better screening process, letting us know who is an actual refugee instead of the economic migrants trying to come in as well. Yeah, that's the problem because they have to take a plane over here, right? Like most of the refugees, they're flying over here. I don't know if they're taking boats. Like it's not like they're on rafts, but um, so they have money to get on a plane. They have to have some identification to get on a plane. So how can we not vet them? Like if they're a refugee, what if they have no identification? Can they even get on a plane to get over here? I have a lot of questions about how this works, um, but I just know that the sentiment that Obama and Hillary have about it aren't gonna lead to as stringent a policy as we need, which is what Donald Trump goes for. And I think we need it. I think we do need a stringent policy on who comes in here. Not not a religious litmus test. I don't think that's right, and he rescinded that, but um, something, something stronger. Based Lalo. Lalo... Oh, Scott says, am I still in Chicago? No, I'm back at my apartment. Um, I was in Chicago just for a day, drove back at night. I was there for, I was at like a 12 hour trip. So six hour drive, six hours there. Wait, did you say Lalo Dagash is, oh dude, Lalo's on the stream watching it. What's up, dude? I watched some of your stuff. Thanks for joining in here. <laughs> is it Lalo or Lalo? Oh man, I should know this. I think it's Lalo because I heard Dave, and talk, Dave Rubin talk about it. Um, Trump isn't going to win, fight me. Dude, okay, listen, I'm from Michigan. There's Trump signs everywhere. That doesn't mean he's going to win. But we've got the most Syrian refugees here, so we have the most angst about it here. We have the most um, Muslim population here over in Dearborn by Detroit, so we have the most angst about that here. Um, the only place where Hillary won against Bernie in the um, primaries was near Detroit, near where all the um, Arab Muslim community is and um, the liberal cities, right? Um, the reason Trump's gonna win Michigan is because of all the, the Rust Belt thing, all, all the Ohio, Michigan, um, Wisconsin even. I, I think um, Michigan's gonna fall before Wisconsin does. Um, I don't know, I don't have like a really clear cut reason why he's gonna win Michigan except for um, I follow 538 even though they lean left and they had Hillary to win 99% and she lost. Um, I don't think there's a huge following for Hillary in Michigan because there was a huge following for Bernie and Bernie how many options do Bernie supporters have they have Jill Stein they have Gary they can stay home they can vote for Donald Trump or they can vote for Hillary there's five options for all those Bernie supporters that won the state over Hillary all these options and only one of them is Hillary so they're not if you think 75% of them are gonna vote for Hillary you're crazy you're crazy um, what else we got to talk about here let me get back to the questions Oh yeah, I, they said she was going to win by like 21 points and Bernie fucking won, yeah. Uh, the GOP acts like they chose Donald Trump as their nominee. They did not. Wait, no, they, they're not acting like they chose him. They're acting like they never wanted him, which they didn't. Um, I live in Illinois and there's nothing but Trump signs. All dead people in Chicago will carry it for her. Yeah. 
Uh, Lacey says you've got this crazy system with all of a sudden 25 million people of healthcare and blah blah blah, 60 hours of blah. It's the craziest thing in the world, yeah. Lalo, yeah, okay. I was reading the comments backwards, so. Refugees are some of the most heavily screened and vetted people who enter the country. Would be good to do some research on that. Okay, that's fair. Um, if they are some of the most heavily screened and vetted people, um, that's good. That's a good thing. Feeling sorry for people because their country is war-torn is stupid, considering how many countries in the U.S. has gone to war with. Uh, and they take refugees to the country. Okay. What about what the um, Dalai Lama said about how people need to strive to go back to their countries and rebuild? Is the Dalai Lama racist for saying that? Um, is he... Uh... <laughs> I'm running out of steam here. So let's, let's answer some more questions. Thoughts on Brexit as a side note from a Brit bong. I think Brexit is the long-term solution. Brexit is, is it's, it's what needed to happen, right? What do we got here? Is Hillary part of the satanic cult? Oh my God, the stupid questions. No matter who wins, it's gonna be uneventful. That's a good point, Lalo, because no matter who wins, nothing is going to change right away. Like the people on the left that really hate Donald Trump, they're not going to, oh, come around to him. Or they're not going to, oh, well, let's quiet down. I guess we were wrong. They're going to still be doing the same thing they're doing. And if Hillary wins, the people on the right are still going to be doing the same thing they're doing. Um, and, and us as Americans need to just keep living our lives and keep, keep trying to make society better. And local first, right? Buy local, um, support your local businesses, um, grow local, buy from local farmers, that sentiment isn't racist, but somehow America first is racist. Are you kidding me? Local first, America first. They're, they're, one, they're the same side of the coin. They're not opposite sides. They're the same side of the coin. He said Germany must stay Germany. Yeah, exactly. The Dalai Lama said that. Germany needs to stay Germany. We can't have just... The people in the West aren't having enough kids. And I'm part of that problem. I haven't had a kid, right? We are... A society that's grown too smart for ourselves right we know that uh, kids are expensive and we don't have them and so that's why Islam is going to be the dominant religion of the world in my lifetime because they still have kids and we don't Hillary isn't gonna make speeches that will make America cry <laughs> and people will despise Trump um, <laughs> make America cry man I don't know uh, I don't know what to say about that. I, I, I feel like his English is bad. Yes, Trump has bad English, but so do I. I would much prefer to be writing than, than talking live. I really need to get better at this. That's why I'm doing it, is so I can get better at speaking and expressing my thoughts out loud because I spend too much time online. I spend too much time writing. I'm way better writing, and I'm sure Donald Trump is too because, and, and this is just complete projection, but I'm picturing what he actually does day to day, and it's a lot of sitting at the desk and reading and writing, right? He's reading through all this legal stuff, he's writing it, or maybe he has somebody else do it for him, but that's what he's gonna be doing as president. His job isn't to stand up there and talk and make coherent sentences. His job is to sit there with the paper and make sure that we don't over fucking spend our taxes on stupid fucking shit. Boom. My economics professor was praising NAFTA and CAFTA the other day. Cringe. Lefties won't riot. The idiot lefties will riot. I just want a better job, and that's racist. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the rise of the regressive left in colleges? My thoughts about that are, man, whew, that's a big problem. I'm glad Milo's going around to at least try to rile up some feathers. Um, I'm glad that I'm not in college right now. I went to community college in 2006 to 2008. And um, I can't believe what it's like. I, I mean, you just gotta take people's word for it. That, that You know what, I was in Chicago, I walked past DePaul and I didn't really realize it till afterwards. And I had second thoughts. I was like, holy crap, I'm, I'm glad I'm not wearing my red hat through DePaul. It's nuts. <laughs> People just, they despise Trump supporters at, at face value. And that's prejudice in a nutshell. That's bigotry in a nutshell. Oh, wait, let me get, let me get back down here. I'm doing great. Wait, me? Thank you. 
It's cool to have you here. It's cool to have somebody that's literally sat and talked to um, Dave Rubin here watching this. Um, my sister came on here the other day while I was doing a live video and she said, you're popular, I didn't realize it. And I'm like, I, I, 50 people, it's, it's a lot of people to be watching on here. Periscope, I don't get this many. Um, it's nice to have you guys all on Facebook. Let me just take a moment to thank everybody that um, accepted my friend request and um, follows what I post. I know it gets bumped, Facebook's algorithm bumps stuff that um, is highly liked and um, I don't feel like I cheat the system at all. I, I added people and they chose to add me or not. I have about a th I think the friend request limit is a thousand and I have a thousand outgoing friend requests right now that are just sitting there. Um, I, I go to people's pages like Blair White just came back to Facebook. So I went on her page, looked at her recent post, started adding some people if they had um, um, mutual friends, adding people if they had Trump profile pictures, adding people if their name sounded cool. Like I just add people and if they want to be my friend, they can. Um, you just go see what my about me is about, see my posts and um, it's fun to interact with you people. It's fun to be on Gab too. If you're not on Gab, it's really fun. Um, it's like Twitter. It's not as not as happening as on here though with this 3,500 people I got. Let's go back to the questions. Jamie says Blair is her fucking mom. <laughs> this is funny because of the female parts that she doesn't have. Actually, does she? I, I don't know if she's post op. Is she post op? I don't know. So why did I add you, Michael? His name is Stefan William Schneer. Um. I don't remember. That's the problem is that all these people that I do add, I don't remember where they came from. Um, sometimes if I, if I do like one person add from one person's, like today, like if somebody adds me today and they ask me, why did you add me? I pretty much know that I added them from Blair's page. So then I can tell them. But outside of that, I don't know. What else we got? Who will win tonight's debate? That's a good question and staying on point. Thank you, Lalo. Um, tonight's debate is going to be a really tough one for Donald Trump because the format of the town hall and the questions. Okay, here's the thing. I've looked online. Nobody can give anyone an answer on how they vet the questions because people come into the auditorium. They say, hey, write a question, right? Or, or they do it the day before. I'm not sure. These people want to have their own question and then... They present it to the people at the debate and the people at the debate say, okay, well, we're going to pick this question and this question, this question. They pick the questions. So if somebody want to ask a stupid question and they pick it, that's the debate, the people putting on the debates fall. So if they have a slant, um, which they shouldn't, hopefully they don't, then they're going to pick bad questions for Trump and good questions for Clinton. I hope that doesn't happen. That's going to really spin how the debate goes. Um, I hope that the people on the right can stop complaining about um, the bias. I mean, no, we know it's there, but the left doesn't care about the bias. We can complain about the bias till the, ho the cows come home, but that's not what, what's going to sway them to vote. Um, I don't think that Trump's going to win the debate unless some miracle happens where he gets in some really good points against Hillary that have substance on policy, on comparing her to Angela Merkel, which says she she wants to be like Angela Merkel. She wants to, I uh, couldn't think of the word the other day. I wanted to say embolize. That's not the right word. Um, uh, man, I'll think of it. But she wants to be like Merkel, and we don't want that. Um, and Trump should be pointing that out. I can't even articulate what I'm saying. Um, he needs to articulate this feeling of anti-globalism that we have, that the same um, sentiment that the people that voted for Brexit had, and, and articulate that and that's the key word. We, that's how he's going to win is articulating um, the anti-globalist sentiment because that's what people are feeling. What else? What other questions we got? Oh, Jamie said something about Laura Southern. Where'd it go? Oh, it went. Uh, why is this updated and that's not? Hold on, it's updating on here. Lauren Southern made a good video about how constantly complaining about the anti-conservative bias paints the right as just as victim complexy. Yeah, that's right. Idolize. Yeah, that might be the word. How will Trump address Pussygate? Hopefully, he'll just dismiss it right away. Um, he needs to. I mean, he he brought up Bill Clinton in his um, response and he retweeted Bill Clinton's supposed um, victims. So if he's gonna go that route, he needs to go all in or none because he can't, he's gotta, that's gonna be really entertaining if he goes that route. And uh, I just hope that he kind of either pushes it off right away and gets to policy against Hillary or 
really goes all out on the Bill Clinton thing because I'm, I'm, I want to learn about that. I mean, I should be online learning about that right now, but it's hard to tell with all this bias on the right even, right? All these people on the right are like, well, he's a rapist. Bill's a rapist. I don't believe that for a second that he's legitimately like straight up a rapist. I, I don't know if I believe that. So I don't know. That's just me. Uh, what else we got? I hope he punches her right in the cooter. Well, that comment adds just that comment. People just, you guys on the right, sometimes, uh, like on Gab today, I saw somebody talking about, um, I don't know, killing somebody or something. And it was just like, come on guys, we complain about Black Lives Matter, um, promoting killing cops or whatever, and then you go do the same thing. You gotta, somebody's gotta be the bigger man at some point. Um, Jesse says, oh hey, hey Jesse. Briar Rose, Bri Briar Rose says, first it was right in the pussy and now it's grab the pussy. Yeah, that's true. Breitbart victim interviews are pretty damning. Okay. If you should give advice to Donald, what would it be? Um, stay cool, calm, and collected. I, I really like Sam Harris. I like how he's able to keep his calm when he debates. And uh, Donald needs to do the same thing. He needs to stay focused. Um, I know it's hard, but um, keep the tangents to a minimal and get just get them on point. Sometimes it's, it's good to know exactly what you're going to say. Just say it and let the other person respond. In, in this case, it's hard, though, because Hillary isn't going to fall over herself when she responds, um, so he can't let her talk for too long. Um, so he does need to fill up the time when he talks, um, but he's got to fill it up with substance against Hillary's policies. Maybe, maybe that's my advice. Just keep hounding her policies. If she's going to hound his nonsensical bullshit, um, like, 10 years ago audio tapes, hit her on policy. Just boom. That's what he's got to do. He needs to be a master debater, that's for damn sure. What do you expect the media will misinterpret Trump to on tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I really wanna go back to, um, oh, Jesse Lee says, where am I at right now? I'm at my apartment. Jessica says, I don't think you said pussy enough yet. Yes, I did. I'm surprised you're still here. Okay, so Jessica's still here, that's my sister. Trump, or I mean, <laughs> Trump's not here. Taylor, Scott Taylor's here. I just called my uncle Trump, that's funny. Um, what else we got? Lalo says, are you a left or right? Are you a Trump or Hillary supporter? And do you love them or just hate the opponent? Is that a question for me? I mean, I'm not sure if that's a question for me because I got the red hat on. But Lalo says, um, am I left or right? Okay, I don't know if you were here when I said this before, but I voted for Obama twice and I voted for Bernie. I was a lifelong Democrat up until maybe three quarters of a year ago. And I really started looking at um, why I um, want a fiscally responsible government, why I was for Ron Paul originally, um, I lean left. I lean left socially. Um, I understand, like, when I listen to Ben Shapiro talk about how he's against gay marriage, but he doesn't want the government to force people, or he doesn't, you know, think that the government should be in marriage. Like, that's a good point. Like, you can be against gay marriage socially as a conservative and um, not want the government in marriage, right? That's that's completely legitimate point, and that kind of lines up with um, individual liberties. I'm all about, Lalo, to answer your question, I'm all about individual liberties. And I try not to be too far libertarian, too far um, anarchist, and Rand, like all this. Like I try to be sensible, sensible about this individual liberties thing. Like the other day, I got into a huge argument um, about um, abortion. You can go look at back at my um, post about abortion in uh, Poland, where they had the, the crowds of women um, protesting the ban there. Um, does the fetus, the fetus have individual liberties and at what point, how does that trump the individual liberties of the woman? Um, so that's the kind of stuff like that I like to get into. Um, I definitely lean left um, socially. In this instance, I just want to see the DNC lose. Like um, Bernie's, okay, the superdelegates, right? Didn't the, the case with Bernie this year getting fucked over by the superdelegates now in the coming years, the superdelegates have been eliminated by like three quarters, right? Like next time we vote for president and we have the primaries and the DNC, they have uh, only 25%, I think, of the superdelegates that they had. So that's a really, really good thing that they can't subvert that anymore. Um, so I just wanna see this current iteration of the DNC with this uh, political dynasty that we have with the Clintons 
lose. I want to see them lose. Um, and I want to see the RNC lose. I want to see the Ted Cruz's lose. I want to see the Bushes lose. And, and they both lose when Trump wins. So hopefully the American people won't lose, right? And that's what, that's what everybody on the left thinks is that the American people are gonna lose if Trump wins. And yes, he's a buffoon um, when he talks and tries to make a above sixth grade level sentence with his grammar. Like, I can't even do that. Like, you guys think I'm reasonable, people say I'm reasonable or whatever. I, I, I struggle with that. I, I have a good vocabulary, right? I have a deep vocabulary. I can't always bring the right word to my head, um, but the grammar is not always there for me because my thoughts are everywhere. And that's the same thing with him. He's fucking 70 years old, okay? Um, we do need politicians running for president that are younger than that. We need politicians that understand the internet. Like, Hillary doesn't understand how email frickin' works. Um, Donald Trump, I think probably barely, he has got good people working for him. That's what's another good thing about him in office. He's got really good people working for him. So, um, and you know that, you know he does. He fires people left and right, right? So let's get back. What else we got here? I'm probably missing out on stuff. Random question, what do I think of the Iran deal? Hitting, this is a hard hitting question. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know about having a nuclear armed Iran. I think we got fucked over. I think the, what was that um, ransom money we gave them? That was separate, wasn't it? That was pretty fucked up. I don't have, I don't have a really strong opinion on that. Um, I mean, I do and I don't. I, I don't think they should be nuclear armed. Um, I think it's too dangerous for Israel. Christopher says, Walters 2016. Jamie says, Trump may be 70, but do we really know Hillary's age? <laughs> I hear lizards have longer lifespans. <laughs> uh, nice shirt. Oh, do you know Yellow Wolf? Thank you. What's Aleppo? Man, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just agree 2016 is the weirdest fucking thing to happen to us. Yeah, I mean, I've been paying attention for a while. It's pretty weird. Like... What do I think of Pepe the Frog being called a hate symbol? I think it's weird that a meme template has been called a hate symbol. Take any meme that you've got, like say, I don't know, the SpongeBob one. Like they could take a picture of SpongeBob and put like, does that make him a hate symbol? No. Oh, it's just crazy. I don't like that this is not uploading. One second, or not updating. <laughs> Current year in parentheses, yeah. 45 people still here. Stiffen says, heading out to sleep, looking forward to seeing your comments tomorrow after your election. I don't know if I'll do a live thing after the election. I just wanted to do that for today. What's the, oh, it's 6.30. How long am I doing, doing this for, an hour? Maybe not an hour. How do I know? I forgot to look when I started. Do I believe that Hillary Clinton is ill rumors? Um, I don't know. She doesn't look too ill. I mean, me like mentally, you think that she had Caesar when she passed out and got chucked into a van? I don't know. I, I mean, both of them, they could have some issues but I don't know 17 minutes what this has only been going for 17 minutes that's not right Michael Horn joined hello Michael do I like memes you betcha I don't know what that was <laughs> I don't have a trademark 37 minutes okay so that yeah that makes more sense which conservatives and liberals do you like? I do like Ben Shapiro. I don't agree with him on everything, even though he hasn't come home to the Trump train. Um, I like Ben Shapiro's um, feisty, just like, I like how fast he talks and I like how clear he is about his points. Um, I, I, he's good. I like Ben Shapiro. Um, I like Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, what liberal, what was the question? What liberal do you like? I don't know. I guess I can't really think of one right now besides for, um, I was for Bernie Sanders. I'm not, I don't agree with him on everything. I disagree with him on GMOs. I disagree with him on fracking. Um, my dad works in fracking out in North Dakota and I worked in fracking for a little bit. And um, I don't know, I don't think it's, I think if we're gonna be against fracking, we need to be against all oil drilling because if it affects us, we should be concerned about it affecting animals. That's just me from my perspective as a vegan. Like if we, <laughs> if we got oil field or oil rigs out in the middle of, um, the Gulf of Mexico and they're spilling oil everywhere why do people care more about inland affecting our water than the freaking sea like 
we need to care about both. So you gotta be against both. You can't just be against fracking. What else do I got here? You've been alive for 50 years. This is a dream. Wake up, Michael. The world needs saving. <laughs> What's up with your shirt? I knew I'd get a question. I already explained it, but this is um, Slamerican, um, the tour by Yellow Wolf. Um, he's a rapper. It's, the stars stand for each letter in the word Slamerican. What's my opinion on Rand Paul? I think Rand Paul would be doing pretty well against Hillary Clinton right, Clinton right now. Um, I like him. I like Ron Paul and Rand Paul. Um, I don't like that they're super religious because I'm not. That's my simple answer to that. Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> Blitz, Wolf Blitzer is funny because I used to have, oh, I still have this friend uh, that would say, uh, <laughs> Blitz, Wolf Blitzer, like a blister. Like I have a Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> I don't know, it's just something stupid. It's stupid fun, it's funny. Would you have supported Rand Paul? Um, Maybe if Bernie wasn't running, if it was just Hillary over there and then I was paying attention to the Republican race, which I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention to the Repu Republican race. race. Um, wow, I can't talk, I need more water. But I only got beer. Cider, sorry, Smith Forge Cider. I would have, I probably would have been for Ron Paul. Um, I liked I like Chris Christie's feistiness. Um, he's not the greatest on policy on everything, but um, I like the the nicknames everybody had for him on Reddit. Um, based donut merchant and uh, what was the one for like slimy Ted or Lion Ted? We had Jeb was uh, low energy, but he also what was his? Ah oh, man, they're just I like the nicknames. They were good. Sargon is top liberal. Okay. What do I think Trudeau versus Conservative Party? Um, I don't know about Trudeau. I mean, I do know about Trudeau. I don't like him. How about that? What are your thoughts on Nigel Farage? I think he's pretty cool. Um, I don't follow a lot of what he says, but I was glad he came over to America to help uh, support Trump. You know what I don't understand? Okay, so people got really mad because they were going to put all that money towards their national health care, right? And Brexit. And then they got mad because, oh, you said you were going to put the money towards the, the health care. Wasn't the point that they were sending that money to the EU? And the point was, well, if we're sending all this money to the EU, why can't we just use it at home instead? But then when they won, the point is, well, we don't need to be spending this money at all, right? Like we can't be spending 350, what was it, million, billion dollars on, on stupid, sh on like one thing. We need to, we need to spend it appropriately. And I think that was their sentiment. The, the sentiment was, let's spend the money appropriately. And I, I think I agree with that. Do I watch Undoomed, Sargon, Naked Ape? They're pretty good. No, I don't spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos. I just started a little bit here and there. I'm trying to. I just watched the one with the kangaroo. What was that? Is that one atheism is, is unstoppable? He reposted the freaking uh, Robert De Niro video, which I thought was really stupid. So that guy's obviously super for Hillary. Um... I used to like his videos. I, don't, I mean, I, I saw some highlights of his videos in a, a um, something. Yeah, atheism is stopful. Okay. Goofy Elizabeth Warren, yep. His favorite Reuben guest was me. Who's your favorite guest from the Reuben report? Oh, I see. Okay, I read those backwards. Um... Yeah, I do enjoy it. Um, when Lalo and uh, Gad Sad were on there, that was really cool. That was a good combo. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of Gad after I started following him online because he just tweets a little too much. Uh, or not tweets, but on Facebook too. Um, I don't know. He's a little unhinged. I, I He's sarcastic all the time. But you know what? Actually, okay, so here's an interesting answer to that question about my favorite guest on Dave Rubin. Um, I really liked that he had that guy that was pro um, fossil fuel usage. What was his name? He had the guy on there that didn't really believe that in global warming, or he did, but he didn't believe it was happening as bad as we think it is, which I thought he raised a lot of good points. I know people were mad that, he, that Dave Rubin didn't shut him down and question him more, but I listened to him and I thought he was pretty reasonable. Um, but at the same time, like we, we should take precautions that if it is the worst, case scenario here with global warming we need to take that seriously and i think his uh um rampant uh pro fossil fuels is can be dangerous but i liked i liked that talk i'm glad dave rubin had him on i didn't really that was that was educational for me i thought 
Do I think Trump is the wake up? If you say anyone but me, I'm going to round kick you at the knees. I enjoy Lalo on the Dave Rubin Report. Every time he's been on there, which was two or three times, I think, he's got a great story. Um, people should go follow him. Um, and I don't know what else to say. Like like I said, I don't, I don't follow um, a lot of YouTube videos. I don't follow you, Lalo, as much as I could or should. So after this, I definitely am because I'm totally stoked that you're in here. Um, you're a celebrity and everybody on here should follow him because he's totally cool. Um, definitely enjoy um, I enjoyed watching you on the Ruben Port just be, you seemed really happy to be there and you seemed really, I don't want to say starstruck, that's not the right word, but you know, I could tell that you were really taking it seriously and really um, happy to be there with Ruben and Gad, so thanks for being here. I'm too young? Who's too young? Michael says somebody's too young. Your opinions on Shu on Head, do I like her? I think I saw one of her videos, I don't know about her much. Can Trump win without the black and Latino vote? I think he's getting a good amount of the black vote, isn't he? Um, I don't know. He was scared shitless. <laughs> Toodles. Do I like ASMR? I don't know who ASMR is. Um, let's see here. How do I see... I want to see how long this has been going. Oh, 46 minutes. Okay. 350 comments. This is almost as much as last time. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of running out of things to say. The topic was supposed to be about the debate tonight. Um, the, the format, man, I hope Trump can just seem relatable, right? Like, we, we laugh because Hillary isn't relatable, but Trump needs to be relatable for people that are on the fence, um, people that have grown up their whole lives liberal like me and, and might not be quite there yet to support him. He needs to reassure these people on the left that they can vote for him. Um, people keep pointing out that if I want the RNC and the DNC to lose that I should vote for Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. That they're not gonna win, folks. Like anybody in here who is is for them, great. I want you to vote for them if you like them. Um, vote for your your choice candidate. Don't be stuck into voting for your um, uh, worst, best of two evils scenario, right? But if you're in a swing state, really think about it because know that they're not gonna win, and know that your future is gonna be either Donald Donald Trump. Or Hillary as the president of your country and you don't have to pay attention to them after they win they might not affect much in your life to be honest but um, if you're in a swing state think about that think about what kind of future you want to live in um, and and vote for one of the candidates who will actually have a chance of winning how much are you willing to bet that the Podesta WikiLeaks won't be mentioned yeah, I, man, I still think that the WikiLeaks need to be mentioned more, and I'm not sure why they're not. I know on politics, this politics subreddit has banned WikiLeaks posts. Like, what the fuck is that about? Is WikiLeaks that biased or that unreliable? I don't understand how they can do that. That's crazy. Um, I, I don't know why Donald Trump didn't bring up more stuff about WikiLeaks and her emails and her um, speeches last debate. Like, I hope that stuff comes out. Like, is he was he really saving stuff? Why would he save stuff? I'm not sure. What are my thoughts on Aaron Pizzi, Christina Hoff Summers, and Karen Strong? I do like Karen Strawn. Uh, that was one of my other favorite um, Ruben reports because she was on, wasn't she on the fan show and then she got her own too? Or no, I'm not sure. Uh, I do like Christina Hoff Summers a lot. I liked, I saw her on a panel with Milo and um, who else was on that panel? I don't remember. It was her and Milo and some other people were doing a, a talk. Um, is it consider, I don't know what that question is. Michael Horn says, is it, it is consider support for espionage. Craig Corbett says, I'm one of the few clear thinkers. Thank you. I want to just thank everybody that says um, that they think I'm reasonable and rational and like this says uh, a clear thinker. Like, I got the red hat on, sure, but that's my that's my choice. I'm not like, I, I'm not blindly supporting Trump. You know, I'm not a lifelong conservative that's just like, yeah, it's got to be Trump because Hillary's awful and blah, 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 blah. Like, I have rational thoughts. I, I can give people the benefit of the doubt. Here's some good examples. Um, people who are religious, I don't just simply 
despise people who are religious. I understand that they were born into it, that they don't have a lot of choice. And I have empathy for people that were born into religion in the Muslim communities and the Christian communities in America. Um, even ISIS, right? People who join ISIS, you can have empathy for these people that were born into this religious ideology that infects their minds. And they have, like, like Sam Harris talks about free will, their free will is like, I don't want to say non-existent, but holy cow, their free will is just warped. And and you got to have empathy for, for people that don't agree with you. And you have to have an open ear for things you don't agree with. And that's what brought me over here, right? If, if I wasn't reasonable, I would still be pro-DNC, I guess. I don't know. Like, how can you be reasonable and be pro-DNC and Hillary when they subverted the votes with their super delegates like Alaska for instance and and Michigan like all these states that Bernie won I think like is there a state that Bernie won where he actually got more super delegate votes than Hillary I don't think there is I, I, somebody look that up for me did Hillary did Bernie Sanders win a state and get the majority of the super delegates I don't know if a state exists that that happened and it's sad for our democracy but but like I said it's changed for next time um, since this happened um, Bernie supporters at the the convention helped push for um, less super delegates in the future right I, I and somebody confirmed that too that there's like 25% of the super delegates going forward are going to be used and that's really good so what uh, I was born into religion I was also born with a brain yeah I mean, there are, there are like Ben Shapiro, for instance, I was just praising Ben Shapiro. He's um, Jewish, right? And that's, you know, it doesn't affect my opinion of him as a smart person. Um, I'm an atheist. I used to be really against religion and religious people. Um, and it's, and I still am against religious re religion, but um, I understand that there are people that just, it's part of who they are. Like, I don't know. Isn't that ironic that Milo, a gay fabulous Jew Catholic? Yeah, what's up with that Jew Catholic? So he's, um, uh, his family was Jewish, but he chose to be Catholic. Is that what that is? Poster boy for the all right. Yeah, that is strange that he's the poster boy for the all right. Janet says, no, he did not in reference to the Bernie thing. So that's, that's true. That's a good, I haven't heard anybody else say that. When that, when I just said that, that was the first time I've heard anybody say that because I looked for it earlier and I remember looking at it and thinking there were about four or five states that he didn't win, but it must be all of them. All of the states that Bernie won in the primary, he got fucked over in superdelegates. That's bullshit. Remember that. Remember that point. It's important. Use your brains. Oh, Walter said, I misinterpreted what Walter said, sorry. Congrats on having the first name that is similar to my last name. Why are these latest comments Trump made any worse than anything else he's ever said? This is what I wanted to go back to. Um, there's still 37 of you watching, so this won't be lost on deaf ears. Um, when he um, announced his presidency, that was the same point where he said the comment about um, Mexicans bringing over their um, guns and their crime and their rapists, right? When he said that, he had bad grammar. But what you can deduce from what he said in the commas and the ands that he said is that he didn't mean to say they are rapists. He didn't say all Mexicans are rapists. He didn't say all immigrants are rapists. He said they're bringing their rapists when they come across, that's what he said. So the analogy I have for that, and Lalo, if you're still here, please listen to this analogy because I think it's spot on. If the Russians have a circus and their circus is coming over to America, the Russian circus is bringing their acrobats and they're bringing their gymnasts and they're bringing their, their elephants and whatever, um, are they, if you end that sentence with their gymnasts, does that mean all Russians are gymnasts? Does that mean all of the people in the circus are gymnasts? Or does that mean they're bringing their gymnasts? That's what that means. That's what he said. So that comment from the very, very start last year, more than a year ago, a year and a half ago, people still can't seem to understand that the word there is not they, apostrophe, R-E, like they are. It's not there. It's there. They're, they're bringing there. And rant.
<laughs> and rant, and rant. <laughs> he implied he did that shit. No, uh, he didn't. Wait, what? He implied he did that shit. He said when you star the... Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. I agree on that. He did say that women who get abortions should receive some form of punishment. Because if it's the law, he said that because if there's a law for something, if there's a law against drinking beer, there should be a punishment for it. That's, that's the, the sentiment of his answer, was that if there's a law against abortion, there should be a punishment for it. Like, that's just a straightforward answer, I, I feel like. I don't think there's any malice behind that. Um, and that's, I mean, that's what I always say. I'm, I'm pro-choice, and if somebody says that abortion should be legal at all stages and blah, 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 I go, okay, well then what's the punishment, right? What specifically is the punishment and why? And, and then I go on to the, this line of thought is that if a woman has kids already, she's got two kids uh, and there's no dad present and you're going to punish her for having an abortion. Okay, so now the state is paying to take care of two kids because she's in jail and uh, the state is paying to keep her in jail. So now all of our tax money is going to keep this woman in jail and keep her kids. Why not just not have a punishment for having an abortion and let the mom stay with her kids, right? And then that's just what I think. No, he said there should be a law. He said it should be banned. Oh, did he really? Man, see, I have a problem with um, his VP. Like, I really don't want <laughs> him to get assassinated and have Mike Pence be the president, but he's not the president at, the, at where it stands now, and the VP doesn't have too much sway. Like, we like to joke that Dick Cheney pulled the strings behind George Bush, but did he really? And and what does what's Joe Biden done? Has been Joe Biden been in the news for stirring up liberal trouble? Like all this liberal stuff Biden's doing wrong? Like what's Pence going to do as the VP? Is he going to stir up trouble? And like, I don't know. So I'm not worried about Pence. If if Donald Trump thinks that women should be punished and shouldn't have abortions, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember being the, that being the sentiment. But if if you say that's true, I have to look into that again. Um, because that's stupid. Yeah, and, and the Supreme Court justice thing, everybody falls back on that, is that how can you vote for Trump if he's going to put um, super right-wing people in the in the Supreme Court? Um, I don't know if he will. Like, is is he really going to put somebody that's an extreme Bible-thumping, uh, anti-evolution, anti-abortion person in there? We don't know that. And uh, that that can't be the scare tactic to not vote for him. We can't... Everything else that that Hillary stands for is just the, not the direction we want to go. If we want to go in this political direction versus this political direction, the Supreme Court, I understand that they're a lifelong appointment. I understand that if we think that that's a bad thing, which I, I'm leaning towards, maybe I think that that's a bad thing. If we can keep using that as a, no pun intended, Trump card in the uh, elections to say, oh, but the Supreme Court, every single election, then we need to have them not be um, that powerful. We need to not have them be a trump card like that, that it can affect the elections. So maybe it takes hitting rock bottom, voting for Trump and having him maybe, we don't know, maybe um, vote in or elect, not elect, what's the word for it? Appoint people to the Supreme Court that we don't like and fucking that up. Maybe that's what it's going to take for us to realize that they shouldn't be on there for their entire lives. Yeah, Emily is reiterating the sentiment that I had that the question was, uh, and I borscht back to the abortion, that the question was if it was the law. So, and Lalo's coming back saying it, no. So we're, we're at odds on what was true about that. Robin's pro-choice. Yeah, let's definitely get off the topic of abortion because I know that's a lot of people that are on here watching probably are against it. So maybe we can talk about the debate. Actually, um, we'll look and see how much time's left. I might be getting off here in an hour. Or I mean, at the hour mark. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine says, is that a pull-up bar behind me and doesn't get a lot of use? No, that's actually a pop-up um, clothes rack that I've used. I set it on a stool so it's up higher and, and it can hang my plant. Um, I do have a pull-up bar that away in the house, uh, in a door doorway. And um, I try to use it every time I walk past it, pull up a few times, because I'm a soccer player, was a soccer player my whole life, so I don't have like huge guns, I don't know. I mean, that looks kind of big on camera, but I don't feel very strong on the upper body strength. So um, I do want to stay active and physically active because I'm a truck driver, so I have that pull-up bar and I try to do it a little bit every time I pass the door, because um, that door is always open, so. Yep, what else we got here? 
One minute to go. One minute to go to the to the hour mark. Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. Well, let me go. Let me go over a little. Actually, I'll go over a little bit because I cut it. I realized I posted the video last time to YouTube, um, and I, I stopped it at an hour. But then when, once I edited it, it was down to 58 or something. So it doesn't super matter. But it's like filling it up with the gas pump. You know, I really want it to be perfect. But maybe since I already didn't make the other one perfect, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Jessica says, did I get a haircut? Um, a little while ago, my hair kind of looks like the guy who cuts it now. I keep going to the same barber. He's got a really cool tattoo on his arm that's a, um, a straight razor. So when he opens his arm like this, the straight razor opens and closes. So I've got to keep going to the same guy. He's super cool. Um, he's got hair kind of like this. It's like short on the side. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's not really, I mean, I guess it's a comb over, but a little while ago. But yeah, just you should know. You see me. I Same haircut. What other, um, any other last questions before I go? Hair <laughs> privilege over. <laughs> I'm so glad you were here for this. I'm, uh, what do you, <laughs> you must be bored to watch little old me talking about politics over here. Uh, vegan protein shake. Oh, hey, Lalo, I want to tell you about this. Um, Dave Rubin, I, I was on Gab and talking to the people on Gab, I was like, we got to get Dave Rubin on Gab. So we went on Twitter and we're like, okay, we'll get the CEO of Gab and, and Dave Rubin to talk to each other on, on Twitter. And we did. We got them to, or I did. And um, Dave Rubin replied accidentally to me in my private inbox. <laughs> and I was like, Dave, I think you meant to, to private message the CEO of Gab, not me. <laughs> so it was cool. I told him, I told, this is what I said to him. I said, Dave, you, you changed my life. It's true. It's true. The beginning of the year, um, um, I started. I wanted to read Sam Harris's book, um, uh, the the future of Islam, the tolerance. Oh man, what the fuck is the book called? Islam and the Future of Tolerance. Yes, um, I read, uh, uh, listened to the audiobook of that, and once I listened to the audiobook, I went on the podcast app to find him on there and other stuff. And Dave Rubin came up. I had never heard of Dave Rubin. So after I read his book or listened to the audiobook. Got into Dave Rubin. I've seen every episode since, and uh, he just really blew my mind uh, and got me to really think about politics in a new way because I was really focused on the religious aspect of society and not the political aspect. Even though I was, you know, for um, Obama and uh, Ron Paul and all this stuff, I wasn't really honed in on what I felt. And him talking about classical liberalism and the regressive left and individual liberties really did honestly change the direction of what I have to talk about and what I have to say to these people. So I have to just, I just want to tell you that before I go. Um, let me uh, see what else I got in here. The last questions before I go. Jamie wants to know my favorite Facebook friend. Jamie, you post so many good memes. It's got to be Jamie. Lalo says Dave's a great guy. He is. I do have a YouTube channel. It's um. Uh, I don't. You you know what? I don't have a hundred followers on face on on YouTube, so I can't change my URL. It's like I go to change my URL and it says. You can't do that. You don't have 100 followers. I'm like, what? So I can't give you the URL, but I can tell you, I think my username is um, W8, just like it is on Instagram, maybe, or maybe look up my name. Jessica says, I look like that guy from Parks and Rec. I've heard that before. Will I become the fifth horseman? I hope so. I hope to just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm a semi-truck driver. I have plenty of time to read and write and do videos, and um, I just... Um, rebooted my YouTube channel and because um, I haven't posted anything for nine years literally you guys I haven't done this is the second full video I've done in nine years so you guys are in for a little treat here so Cummins or cat I'll get out of you don't say Detroit I'll get it out of you don't say um cat what's my favorite gab account we need a YouTube link. Oh wait, okay, I'll put a, wait, how do I do that? Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do that in here. So I gotta end this. Um, what else do we got? Um, I think that's it, I think that's it. Bobby says boo, I don't know, sorry. Um, wow, this was a really good video. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was. Lalo's in here. That's so cool. Now I get to put you. I get to put you in the hashtag when I post this on YouTube. I hope. Is that okay? Uh, I'm gonna post this on YouTube and I'm gonna tag. Uh, put maybe put it even in the title that Michael has a uh, 
answers fields questions from 50 people, including, but not limited to, Lalo. His gap is at weight, yes, that's true. It's, it's, it's W8, but it's weight, right? Like, like weight, but also like I'm waiting. Good luck on the road, man, be safe, thank you. Lalo says go for it. All right, we'll cut her there, and I'll see you guys after the bait, the, de the debate. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I need a sign off. Oh, 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 <laughs> it can't be for sure. <laughs> All right, see you guys. I don't know what else to say. It's not turning off. Oop, gonna have to cut this part off.